Hi everyone, welcome to Java Techie. Let's discuss how to use ng if directive in Angular. So in previous tutorial, we understand the use of ng for. So let's reuse the same example. Let me show you the code which we did in our previous example. So we created list of product and we assign five product object and all the list of product we are iterating in our product.component.html using ng4 directive and the selector present in our product.component.ts this is app-product we mapped in our app.component.html that's why we are able to see the list of product mapped from our product.component.html right what if my list of product which I am getting from component is empty how I can handle that situation so let me show you that let's go to our product.component.ts let's assume we don't have any product object so let me remove this list of product save it it will be recompiled then go to your browser refresh it we don't have any list of product right but still it is showing the header part how I can avoid it if I don't have any object in my list I don't want to render it how can I add that if condition so that's why ng if directive introduced in picture so let's use it let's go to the product.html product.component.html here we are rendering the list of product but before that I want to add the if condition if list of product is empty or the length of my list is not greater than 0 then I don't want to render it so for that we need to write the ng if so let's write the syntax star ng if then which object we are going to validate here we are going to validate the list of products the same variable name which we mapped in our product.component.ts right so let's do that products dot length so this should be dot if product dot length greater than 0 then only it will iterate it will use the ng4 or else it won't be iterate so this is what the if condition we added to render our html right so let's compile the code let's save it yeah so if you go to browser we are not able to see the header here right table header is not displayed here so let's go to the component.ts let's add the product object and save it again it is compiling now if you repress we are able to see the list of object right so if you remove four object which we have five object here so let me display only one object save it it will work as the list of product is greater than 0 right this condition will work if your list don't have any object so let's remove this object as well once again let's re-verify save it yeah so we are good we added the ng if statement where it will check the length of the list if it is greater than 0 then only it will populate those value yeah so that's it about this particular video guys thanks for watching this video